you want to see tally up payment proof, but at the same time also know some very important details to find out if it's really worth it, then this video is for you. My name is Michael and a while ago I published a full tally up review where I show you how you can earn by playing fun games. And at that point I also promised to record a video where I show how to withdraw and also give an update when I've tested it a little bit more. So in this video I will show you exactly how to withdraw. But not only that, I will also show you a couple of very, very important details that I have found out after testing it some more. So just to make it clear, this is not a full tally up review and tutorial. I have that on my website. I'll leave a link to that below so you can check that out there. In this video, I want to focus on the payment proof and how you can withdraw, but also give an update about my experience because there really are some very, very important details you need to consider before investing too much time in this app. But let's just get right to it. I will log in and then we'll start with the payment proof so you can see how to withdraw. So I have now logged into the Tally Up app and you can see right now I have $13. And as I also explained in my initial review, you need to have $10 to be able to cash out. You can see here also, however, that when it comes to this ladder, how much I can bet and uh, get to the high levels, I have not yet reached level 10 there. I'm at level nine, as you can see there, and I played maybe like 100 games or so. So it takes a while to get there. But that does not mean you can actually not cash out when you have reached $10. You might think that because the cash out is above the line there. But if you go over here, you can see that little cock over there. If you click this one, then you can see there is a cash out option. And that's the one you need to choose then. And then you can see I can start cashing out. We'll talk more about how much time it has taken me and uh, what the overall earning potential in my experiences with this later and also some other experiences I've had with it. Uh, but first, let's just here see how we do that. You can see one very important detail. The first very important detail that you do not see when you just join the app and start playing there. But that is that when you cash out, you need to donate at least 10% of your winnings to charity. Of course, it's nice to donate to charity, but in this case, you just need to be aware that you are forced to give 10% and I'll show you exactly how that works here. And then after that, you can get the rest via PayPal. But that also means like if you, you know, wait until maybe you earn like $100 or so, that means you will not get the full $100. It's very important to understand. But then to start the process, I would just need to click this start cash out button there and then you can see this is where I can then you know I can't decrease it because I need to donate 10% but you can also choose to donate more if you want to but I'll just donate the minimum here and then you can see you can learn more about it what they're donating to here like of course I you know I can't verify how they do it and if they all the money go there or if they charge some administration fees or anything like that I, I cannot verify that so I can't say for sure but this is anyways what they say here uh, so you can read more about it if you want to but other than that you just continue uh, and then here I need to write my PayPal email address. So of course I blurred out my uh, PayPal email address there, but then all I need to do is to just click the review and finish button. And then you can see, this is the summary. This is how much they will go to charity. This is uh, how much I will get in cash. And then you can see down here, it says it can take five to 10 business days. So uh, quite a long processing time, actually. That's another thing you not just need to be aware of. It's not instant cash out. Then we we'll just need to click the cash out button there. And that's it. Then I have cashed out. I will also leave a screenshot on this screen of the email I get from PayPal. So you can see the money did go into my account. There I will also write exactly how long it took before I actually got them. But as you can see, they say it can take up to 10 business days, not just 10 days, but 10 business days. That's important to be aware of. But anyways, now you can see that it actually does pay. But let's then talk about how effective a way it is to earn and some not so good experiences that I've also had with it. So let's talk a little bit more about how long it has taken me to earn this much and how much you in general can earn. And it has taken me a long time to reach these $13. And to be completely transparent, a lot of this is through this mega spins you can get when you invite others because some people have joined through my invitation link. Because when I recorded my first initial tutorial there also, I had you no know, 
played a lot of games, but sometimes you win, sometimes you lose, and it had taken me like hours to just earn a couple of dollars because you know, it goes up and down. So then by the help of some of these free spins that I explained more about there, uh, that you can get by inviting others, then eventually, still it takes a long time because you can only use one per day, really weird system in general, this referral system. You know, I've not seen a referral system with this kind of limitations before, but anyways, that's kind of a side note, that's just my personal opinion about it, just something you need to be aware of if you decide to invite others to it. But it still took me a long time to get there, even with those extra spins that I could get from inviting others. And that's the thing, yes, there are people sometimes that earn hundreds of dollars and you will see stories about that. And yes, it is potentially possible if you keep moving up the ladder. But the reality is that for most of us, that will just not really happen because it takes a lot of patience. I've tested no, hundreds of different ways to earn money online for free. And yes, Tally Up has addictive games and it can be fun, but the disadvantage of that is that you actually do not notice how much time you've spent. And I have noticed that because I always look into what is effective ways to earn. That it's fun at the same time is great, but I don't want to spend two hours playing a game to earn uh, to earn like one dollar if I'm lucky because that's not effective. Then it doesn't matter how fun it is. And that's the thing, you kind of lose the sense of time, but it's not a very effective way to earn unless you are very, very lucky. Yes, you will hear those stories. Oh, I cast out hundreds of dollars or something like that. Yeah, but you will also hear stories of people that win the lottery. That doesn't mean that it's the best use of time. It's not something that you should really rely on. I'm not saying you cannot earn because you definitely can people do and as you can see it also does pay but it just really takes a lot of time and effort and patience in my personal opinion no if you used it and have a different opinion just you know feel free to share below that would be great to hear also no matter what your experiences are but other than that there's one more important thing that i have experienced that is not so great about it so if you watch any of my videos before, you know that I make sure to always really test things to find out if it's worth recommending and test a lot of different aspects. And one of the aspects that I wanted to test about Tally Up was the support because something like this, it's important to know that you can get support if you want to. And I did try to write them. I did not hear back at all via email until then I gave them you no know, benefit of the doubt and decided, okay, I'll try to then communicate via the Discord community. And you can get in contact with them there. But that was uh, honestly one of the worst support experiences I have ever had. It was uh, not pleasant at all, but at least I did manage to get through to someone. It was just not very helpful. And even though I did manage to get through there, it's uh, not a support system that I like personally. And uh, you know, I'm not saying that they always give that type of support that I received or whatever, you know. I'm not saying that, I'm just sharing my personal opinion and experiences and I've just you know, tested hundreds of different ways and this was one of the worst support experiences I have had and one of the more unprofessional support experiences. That does not mean it does not pay and that you cannot get help at all with certain things. No, that might be possible, but when you put all this together, then it makes it very hard for me to actually recommend. So to sum it all up, yes, Tally Up does pay. If you're very lucky, you can also earn quite decent money, but you will have to invest a lot of time and a lot of it is just based on luck. Personally, I will not be playing the games anymore because I've already spent way too much time compared to the money I can get out of it compared to what I could earn by using other ways to earn online. In addition to that, then of course it's great to donate to charity, but I just prefer that if I have the choice to actually decide how much I want. But that's of course you know, a personal preferences, but it's very important to be aware of. I don't like that you don't necessarily see these 10% will be deducted until you have actually reached the cash out threshold and then you cash out and you see, oh, I have to give it 10% away. That would be nice to know, of course, before you start earning and that's why I really wanted to emphasize here. And then also I had a bad support experiences, at least that's my personal experiences. And overall, when I put all that together, it means that it is not really any longer 
an app that I recommend. I recommend using other ways to earn by playing games instead of using other free earning methods. I will also leave a link below to a list I have of the best ways to earn by playing games that I have. You can check that out if you want to instead. But no matter what, I hope this video helped you. A lot of you have asked about an update and what I've experienced since and if it really pays and all that. So I wanted to record this video and share all this so you have an even better overview of what to expect and can decide whether you should keep using this app or not. And if the video helped you, then make sure to hit the like button and also don't forget to subscribe to my YouTube channel and hit the notification bell so you won't miss out next time I release a video with tips and tricks about different ways to make money online.